My name is Mira Sadi, and I'm a member at Alhosh.com. I'm the founder and owner of Ottoman Sheik. Um, Ottoman Sheik is a jewelry line based out of Istanbul, and it's basically my baby right now. So I'm by no means a conventional designer. Um, I started off uh, studying business uh, at university. I always dreamt of joining the United Nations. Working with the United Nations, I had actually made it um, to my quote-unquote dream. Um, but while I was there, um, I started spending more time um, designing jewelry. Um, and I realized that um, I had so much more fun. It was not work for me. It was just, it was great. And it, was just, it wasn't just designing the jewelry. It was running the whole show. It was thinking about everything. I mean, I've had X amount of job experiences so far. None of them really allowed me to really uh, take control and to really look at it from a very global perspective in terms of um, designs, production, uh, making sure that the products are to the quality that I want, because I'm a client, so I want to know that they're there and that the designs are at par with my expectations. It's Ottoman chic because, well, I'm half Arab, um, Palestinian, half Turkish, and um, this is my culture. The Ottoman chic is a clash, and I intention that's the reason I use the name Ottoman chic. It's a clash because you have Ottoman, that's something um, with uh, so much history and heritage, and it's old and it's rugged and it's rough. And then you have the sheik that's this uh, feminine girl and uh, she wants her fuchsia and uh, um, the more, not fashionable, but the more striking elements. Um, so there is a lot of clash in my actual designs. Um, the material itself is what's represented by the Ottoman part. Um, everything is uh, 24 karat gold plated, um, rough texture, uh, it's, it's not meant to be little delicate items, they're, they're there, they stand out, they're, they need to represent. Um, and then you have the chic part, that's, uh, you'll, you'll find the, uh, the striking color stones uh, that bring it closer to our day and age. Well, I'm wearing uh, one of my favorite pieces and this is uh, Atike, it's called Atike Necklace. Um, and it means a uh, free, beautiful, noble woman. Um, and this one really represents what I meant by my definition of Ottoman chic. You can see the ruggedness um, from, from the texture of, of the gold used, um, but um, the stones, nothing matches, and it's a mosaic of colors. Um, and the texture and the size, they're all, everything's asymmetrical, and, and that's why it's one of my favorite pieces. Another one of my favorite items is uh, Galata Cuff and you can see again the ruggedness and the roughness and the rawness of the cuff itself. Um, you have uh, Iznik ceramic in the center with a tulip design and it's decorated with pearl, turquoise and coral gemstones. I think this is by far my favorite piece. Um, this is a green jade stone. Um, the reason it's my favorite piece is uh, of the inscription, it says Jamal al-Ruh, which means beauty of the soul. And I think it's a very fundamental element um, in our lives that we tend to forget. And uh, I think if it's a part of uh, your, if it's a part of your everyday life, um, then it can act to remind you, remind the people around you, um, the importance of the beauty of the soul. I really hope that my story uh, would help, not inspire you, but just give you a little bit of uh, push or strength to, to take that jump. And I hope you like my designs, and I hope to see you wearing them.